start the book exercise. This is working with the text. First question is, complete the following sentences from memory choosing a phrase from those given in brackets. First is, dash was held at the time of the Eid festival. So what is the answer? A big fair. Yes. Second is, tradesmen came to the village with all kinds of goods. The answer will be to sell. Next is, uncle told me dash while he was away. So what will be the answer? Uncle told me not to buy anything while he was away. Fourth is, the owner of the lucky shop wanted everybody present dash. Everybody present to try their luck. Fifth is, the first time I took a chance, I got dash. What did he get? He got two pencils. Next is, uncle told me that the shopkeeper had made dash. The shopkeeper had made a fool of me. Now it's time to discuss question answers. The first question is, why do you think Rashid's uncle asked him not to buy anything in his absence? The answer is that Rashid's uncle told him not to buy anything in his absence because he knew that the shopkeeper would make a fool of Rashid and cheat him. Second question is, why was the shop called Lucky Shop? The answer is, the shop was called Lucky Shop because the shopkeeper wanted everybody to try their luck. There were discs on the table with numbers from 1 to 10 facing down. All one had to do was to pay 50 paise, pick up any 6 discs, add up the numbers on the discs and find the total. The article marked with that number went to the person. The third question is, an old man won a clock and sold it back to the shopkeeper. How much money did he make? The answer is, the old man made 15 rupees by selling the clock back to the shopkeeper. Question number 4 is, how many prizes did the boy win? What were they? The answer is, the boy won 4 prizes. They were a comb, a fountain pen, a wristwatch and a table lamp. Question number 5 is, why was Rashid upset? The answer is, Rashid was upset because he had hopes of winning a big prize and he continued trying his luck again and again. But every time he got a trifle, people looked at him and laughed but no one showed any sympathy. Next question is, in what way did the shopkeeper make a fool of Rashid? The answer is, the shopkeeper made a fool of Rashid by making him believe that it was luck that got the old man and the boy their prizes. They were in fact friends of the shopkeeper who were playing tricks to tempt Rashid. Rashid too tried his luck again and again in hope of getting a big prize. However, he did not manage to win anything big. Now that was all about the discussion of question answers. Let's start working with the language. Part A is, the words given against the sentences below can be used both as nouns and verbs. Use them appropriately to fill in the blanks. The first is, the two teams have dash three matches already. We will put here plate and that is used as verb here. Second is, the last days dash was excellent. The last days play was excellent and here it is used as a noun. Let's see the second question. She has a lovely dash. The answer will be she has a lovely face. Here it is used as a noun. Second is India dash a number of problems these days. Here we will put is facing and it is used as a verb here. Third question is, he made his dash in essay writing. The answer is, he made his mark in essay writing. Here it is used as a noun. Second is, 
articles dash sold are reserved here we will put marked and here it is used as a verb the fourth is the police are dash the area to catch the burglars the answer will be combing and here it is used as a verb second is an ordinary plastic dash costs 5 rupees we will put here comb and that is used as a noun here the fifth one is he gave a dash in answer to my question the answer is he gave a smile in answer to my question and it is used as a noun here second is we also dash to see him smile we will put here smiled and here it is used as a verb let's see the sixth question he said he dash to be invited to the party the answer is he said he hoped to be invited to the party and here it is used as a verb we gave up dash of his joining the party we gave up hope of his joining the party and here it is used as a noun seventh is the boys put up a good athletic dash here we will put show and here it is used as a noun the soldiers dash great courage in saving people from floods and here we will use should and this is used as a verb here eighth is you deserve a dash on the back of your good performance the answer is pat and here it is used as a noun the teacher dash the child on the cheek to encourage her so the answer is patted and here it is used as a verb now let's see part b part b is notice the use of there in the following sentences there was a big crowd at the fair there were many things i would have liked to buy now rewrite the following sentences using there in the beginning look at the following examples first is i can do nothing to help you now if we put there in the beginning the sentence will be like this there is nothing i can do to help you one more example is there a man at the door is asking to see you so it can be written like there is a man at the door asking to see you now let's change these five sentences using there in the beginning first is this park has beautiful roses so it can be written like there are beautiful roses in this park second is your story has no fun in it we will write it there is no fun in your story third is we have no secrets between us it will be like there are no secrets between us fourth is my village has two primary schools so the sentence will be like there are two primary schools in my village fifth is this problem can be solved in two ways it can be written like there are two ways to solve this problem now let's do exercise c fill in the blanks in the paragraph below with words from the box so let's start there was a dash eid fair in our village so what will be the answer there was a huge eid fair in our village we could buy anything from a dash toy to a dash camel the answer is we could buy anything from a tiny toy to a big camel i went to the fair on its dash day with uncle and bhaiya i went to the fair on its last day with uncle and bhaiya we went to the lucky shop it was very dash it was very interesting i tried my luck but did not win any prize later uncle told me that i was more dash than dash so it will be i was more foolish than unlucky 
that's all about the book exercise and question answers of unit 8 chapter a game of chance